Hey guys, Nick here and today we have a quick little video. Hopefully if you ever have a water leak in your yard, this will help you pinpoint exactly where the leak is for almost no money. So the first thing you want to do is establish that you even have a water leak. And this video is only going to show you how to find a water leak in your yard from your meter to the house basically is what I'm determining where my water leak is because I already know I have a water leak outside because of the water seeping up out of the ground. But some of you may not have water seeping up out of the ground but you have a water leak and one way to determine a water leak is going to be the meter. So if all the water is shut off in your house this meter should not be running. If you will look in there at the meter you'll see the little red dial is spinning and it should not be spinning. So once you've established that you have a water leak, next you need to make sure it's not in the house. I have already went through the house, made sure there is no water leak in the house. I've actually went under the trailer, made sure there's no standing water under the trailer. I walk behind my house and this is what I find. whole bunch of standing water back here underneath this room somebody built on the back of the house so I dug a hole beside the porch here she's pretty deep just looking for the water line couldn't find it so then I came in front of the porch here I dug a hole horizontal there looking for the water line because it's like well the water line is going to be coming from that water hose spigot and running into the house underneath is what I was told from the previous owner. But I can't find a water line. You would think I would have came across it during my horizontal dig right here and I can't find it. I've also threw my back out digging so much so I'm about tired of digging. So my next step is, well where is this leak at? Maybe if I can pinpoint the leak exactly. So I had a thought. Alrighty, so I went to Home Depot and I built this little contraction you see here. We got us a little meter on the side over here. And we got us a way to hook up our airline on the other side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the water off coming from the street. I'm going to hook my air hose up to this airline right here. And then I'm going to open that valve up and I'm going to put 60 to 80 PSI in my system and hopefully we'll see some bubbles coming up out of this water standing water out of the ground basically hopefully we'll see some bubbles coming up out of the ground so let's hook up the air hose and see what happens all right so we have the water cut off on the main line coming from the meter into the house next I'm gonna hook this line up down here to the water. Get out of the way. All right, we got that airline hooked up. Pull this down a little bit further. All right, now we got air in the system. Let's see what we got here. We got 20 pounds. Let's open this up. Alright, I just opened the water line. We jumped up to 60 pounds. I'm gonna come over here, see if I see or hear any bubbling. I can see it and hear it. Look at there. And that wasn't chalky, that didn't look chocolate milky a few minutes ago. That was just straight water. I guess the bubbling has caused it to uh, turn into a chocolate milky looking. But this is right under the back room somebody built on. So yep, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Maybe I can just disassemble. I don't know, I'll have to figure this out. Regardless, there's the water leak. Maybe this will help somebody out in the future. You know you got a water leak in your yard. You want to figure out exactly where the water leak is. Maybe we can build one of these too. This will help somebody out. 
All right, let me take this water off. I don't want too much air in my line. Air compresses, water don't. So yeah. There you go, folks. How to find a water leak in your yard without expensive radar ground penetrating sonar activating tools that everybody says they're going to need. Well, there you go, guys. We put air in our system. Remember, air compresses, water does not. So we need to go in the house now, open up some cold lines, and flush that air out. Then we can open up the city line. So let's go do that. Hope this video helped somebody out. Peace.